the flag you see is the famous flag of Japan, red and white, it's supposed to be the sun, called the Hi no Maru, Hi meaning sun, Maru meaning circle, the circle of the sun. When I was in Japan ten years ago in the workshop, I decided to intensify the training. Connect these two nations together in a little bit of fun. Here is the Korean part. Let's add some spice to this very plain flag. Here we go. That's yin and yang, the two composite forces. It's missing the dot, if you ever noticed. Most people say it's yin and yang. It's not exactly yin and yang. And then we add the spices, the yangs and yins. Basically, this is a yang. Yang, yang, yang. See that? Three yangs. And... The opposite, the feminine force, the submissive, fire and water, this what I guess would be water, would be yin, yin, yin. And you know yin is broken. Yin is broken, feminine, soft like water, while well, yang is strong, bold strokes. So we got yang, 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 yin, yin, yin. And then the other balance is over here, is a yang, and then a yin, just to balance it. But it, two more yins over here, and two more yang, yang. So the yin and yangs of Korea and sort of Japan. You understand where I'm going now. It's sort of like the binary code language. You can think of it as on, 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 off, 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 on, off, on, off, on. Korea and Japan, the coded messages, the perpetual dichotomy between male and female forces. <laughs> or the choice of a new generation. But I think they changed their logo quite recently.